I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos, writing excellent remarks and sharing some brilliant questions. We have actually received a couple of questions on this topic of trigonometry compound angle. Here is one of them. The question here is tan alpha equals to 0 0.75, tan beta equals to 2.4. We need to find the value of sine alpha minus beta. The student has a test tomorrow morning and so I thought I'll upload the video at night. I hope it reaches on time. Let us see how to solve such a question. We are normally afraid of fractions, but in this question, you will realize that fractions are so friendly to us and they help solve problems. Let me show you how. We are given tan alpha as equal to 0 0.75. Let's convert this number to fractions, right? So 75%, 75% really means 3 out of 4, correct? Now when I say tan alpha equals to 3 out of 4, we know tan alpha means opposite side over adjacent side. So if I have a right angle triangle <coughs> as shown here, let's say this angle here is alpha then we're saying that the ratio of these two sides is 3 over 4 since it is a right triangle hypotenuse in this case should be 5 right which is 3 square plus 4 square square root perfect so that becomes a right triangle now as soon as you get your right triangle you can find what sine alpha and cosine alpha is so we can say, well, sine alpha, which is the ratio of opposite to hypotenuse, should be 3 out of 5. And cosine alpha, which is the ratio of adjacent over hypotenuse, should be 4 out of 5. So we get sine alpha and cos alpha from tan alpha. Well, now you can understand the strategy. To find the value of sine alpha minus beta correct well we'll have to work out for beta also right now what is 2.4 equals to now, let me show you how to get these kinds of fractions well it was easy for 0.75 Let's work for tan beta this time. Tan beta is 2.4. You can write 2.4 as 24 over 10. And you can simplify this by canceling 2's. So you get 12 over 5. Now, that is also a familiar right triangle. We can this time sketch our triangle where the longer side is the opposite side and the adjacent side is much shorter. So we get a triangle now where the opposite side is 12 and the adjacent is 5 and the angle here is beta this time. Correct. Now what is the hypotenuse? Well this hypotenuse is square root of 12 square plus 5 square which is 144 plus 25 is 169 and that is 13. Now this is also a Pythagorean triple, right? So we normally remember this number. So we'll write this as 13. Well, this exercise normally is without calculator. So we are sticking to that policy. Now we know the three sides of our triangle. So we can definitely write what is sine alpha, or the sine beta. Sine beta is 12 over 13. And cos beta is going to be 5 over 30. I think now it is absolutely clear how to get sine alpha minus beta, right? So that is one part to it. 
You should also remember that when we say tan, beta and alpha are positive, well, in that case, they could be in quadrant 1 or in quadrant 4. Right? That is kind of important to understand. Since tan is positive in both the quadrants. Perfect. So, we do have two scenarios. That is, tan alpha and beta could be in quadrant 1. Both are positive, right? Air or they could be in quadrant 3, right? So, so that is also possible. Okay. So, if they are in quadrant 1, both values are positive. But if they are in quadrant 3, both values will be negative, right? So, remember that part. Let's move on with that note, right? So, that is just a note. Let me write here a small note in a different ink. Okay. Let's say note. Okay. Let's continue. What is sine alpha minus beta equals to? The compound angle formula sine alpha minus beta can be written as sine alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sine beta. Perfect. Now we know these values. We can always substitute. So if I substitute, we get alpha means the first triangle. We get 3 over 5. Cos beta means second triangle, 5 over 13. Right? 5 over 13. Minus cos alpha, first triangle, 4 over 5. Sine beta, the second triangle, 12 over 30. All right. We could cancel and then multiply, but, you know, we need common denominator. So, we'll just keep it as such, 5 times 13. So, we'll keep this as 5 times 13 for the time being. We can always cancel later. We'll multiply these two, 5 times 3 is 15, and those two. So, it is 4 times 2 is 8 and 1, we we get 48. So the value here is definitely negative. So taking away, we get negative 8 from 5 is giving us 3 and 4 from 1, 1 from 4 is 13, right? So sorry, uh, 33, sorry, not 30, 30, 33. So we get minus 33 over well, there's nothing common to cancel, so we'll just multiply these two. 5 times 3 is 15, 5, 1, we get 65. And we get an answer, which is negative 33 over 65. It doesn't make sense to you. Correct? So that becomes the, the solution for the given problem. Now, that is when we assume both to be in quadrant 1. 1. Now, if they are in quadrant 3, in that case, what happens? Well, we do get the same result. You know why? If they are in quadrant 3, these values will both be negative, right? So, in that case, we could write sine alpha minus beta as equal to both sine and cosine are negative. So, if you write negative, negative, it becomes positive, right? So we get negative of 3 over 5 times negative of 5 over 13 minus negative of 4 over 5 times negative of 12 over 13. Now these negatives becomes positive. You get the same result, right? So you definitely get uh, same thing, 3 over 5 times 5 over 13 minus 4 over 5 times 12 over 13, correct? And therefore, the same answer, which will be minus 33 over 65, correct? So, for both the quadrants, we do get the same result um, that was expected, actually. So, the answer, sine alpha minus beta is equal to minus 33 over 65, correct? So I hope that makes sense. Now it's kind of important to consider both the quadrants. Sometimes in some situations that could make a difference, right? Hope you find it interesting and useful. 
Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you get this question in your test, mark it out. It might come in your test tomorrow. Thanks for your time and all the best.